Okay, so now that we have added a document to our database, what we want to do now is delete the document from the database when we click this delete hotel button. So what I'm going to do is again, as we have done with the add hotel function in our controller file, what we need to do is create a delete hotel function. So I'm just going to put a comment in here saying delete a document in your collection. So essentially what we need to do is we need to find the document by the ID. So in our details component here, we do have the ID here that we can find in our database. So GHA is in our database here as a document ID. So let's pass that in as an argument first of all. So the function is going to be export const because we essentially we want to have this function reusable across our entire app. So export const of delete hotel is equal to an async function once again. <clears throat> and in this function, we're going to pass in an ID, which is going to be of string type. And then we want to inside this component await and call another method from Firestore similar to add doc, but this time it's going to be delete doc. So import that from Firestore. And in here, what we need to do is pass in the document reference. So in our case, that's going to be the ID. So delete doc. But first of all, we need to access the database. So access the Firestore. So in here, or I could declare a constant first of all. So const of the document that we are deleting is equal to the doc, which is from Firestore. And in doc, we need to pass in the Firestore argument and then the path. So the path will be hotel slash the ID that we get here. So doc and then Firestore, which we have defined above here. So we want to get our Firestore here, similar to the collection. And then the second argument is going to be template strings of hotels, which is this collection here, forward slash the ID. So forward slash the selector of ID, which is what we get in as an argument here. So all we need to do now is delete dot of document like so. so. Now, if I save, that document should then be deleted once once we click. And what I also want to do is add a navigate in here as well. So we will pass this in as an argument. So navigate to forward slash. So the second argument is going to be navigate. So when we delete an argument or delete a document, we then want to navigate to the home page. So navigate, and this is going to be of type any for now. So this is another way of passing in your types this way, or you could pass them in as an interface. It's up to you. Uh, it totally depends on the environment you're working on. So once we have done that, I also just want to console log before we have deleted the document. So console log, the hotel has now been deleted. So if I just put that in here, so what we need to do is call this from our details component. So call the delete hotel function. We want to pass in the ID of the hotel that we are deleting. And then we also want to pack pass in navigate. So what we want to do is on delete hotel, we just need to add an on click in here. So on click. And when we click on this delete hotel button, we want to pass in an anonymous function. And this will be delete hotel, which we need to import from the controller file here. So then what it also does is declaring it in the controller file, we can also use it anywhere else that we add the delete button on. So it's quite handy. So as you can see here, because we have declared the types, we can see here that ID needs to be a string and we also need to pass in the navigate. So the ID in this case will be the hotel.id. So hotel.id. And then also we need to pass in navigate here as well, but we need to define navigate at the top. So just under the state const navigate is equal to use navigate from react router DOM. So now we have, we should have the delete hotel function working correctly. So delete a document, we pass in the ID and the navigate. We want to get access to the document. So in our Firestore database, 
in hotels slash the ID that we are currently on. And then we just delete the document with delete doc as the Firestore function. So if I go and save all, and then if we go into our app, so as you can see here, we have an error because it could be undefined. So what I'm just going to do is in our delete hotel function, I'm just going to add a pipe in here. So it could be undefined also. So now if I save, and now what I want to do is if I click delete hotel, I want the Mandarin Oriental hotel to be deleted from here. We then want to get redirected back to the home page, and I expect only one hotel to be showing on there. So first of all, if I check, we have two hotels being rendered, so that's fine. I'm going to click into Mandarin Hotel, and then if I check my database, I have two documents in here. I expect this Qatar one to be deleted. So in my application, if I click delete, it's deleted, it's navigated me back to the home page. Now, if I go into my database, as you can see in real time, it deleted the database from here. So now I only have one document in my database. So that is how you delete a hotel. Next, we need to add the update functionality. And then I believe that should be the application complete.